Okay, me personally I've never cared what people think about me or what people say about me. I think um one of the things that one of the reasons that made me overcome the fear of people what people think about me is that uh, one of them is depression. I think I've been through a lot in life. I've been through so much that um I, I like I've taken myself to the abyss itself. Like I've seen I've seen the darkness and everything that nobody else can come into my life and then make me feel worse than I ever made myself feel. So be it if somebody abuses you, if somebody makes you feel less of a person, if somebody uh tries to attack you emotionally, mentally. Personally, I've been there myself. So it will take you so much to deal with me, to take me back there. Like you know if you if you if you are if you are a person who was who once was in a in a bad depression you'll understand what I'm saying like umejitukana ume umetaka kujimada umetaka kujifanya all the bad things that you can think about umejipeleka hiyo level to the extent that to me I don't think anybody can really mimi kuna mtu anaza nitishia that that's what I can say like what i went through made me who i am right now and it's a learning curve it's a learning process that is so i don't think anybody can take me back there mira say let's say mtu apate some old pics nini alafu anataka kunitrendisha my guy you post <laughs> you just post them i, I don't think that um, i would ever let somebody take me back there cuz i've been there myself so what to me words from people are just words but I, i i usually say the only person who can destroy who you are is yourself you're the only person who can take yourself to the grave in quotes i'm sure that i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing i'm not paraphrasing what's the word i'm using it metaphorically like we pekendo unaweza jimaliza if you let other people come into your life and you, and they de, and they and you make them determine who you are utakuwa na vitu different every time by vitu i mean let's say you are a shy person and you want to fit in if you meet somebody who is like very hyper in and you want to be a friend like utava hiyo kia tu nyasi yako but for me i usually say just be yourself 24/7 if you laugh loud if you do the crazy things as long as you're not harming another another person's life just do who you are be yourself you'll meet so many people in this world excuse utamito wa say wengi dunia wenye how can i put it yani people are out here to for their own for their own benefit if you are not doing anything to help them like people are here to manipulate you people are here to use you mean me mean i have i have been through a lot with friends relationships like i'm gonna meet him say for you as a person like you grew up from how your parents taught you you grew up like a very 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 kind person like you you, you can't differentiate between uh, good and bad in that sense cuz growing up you used to just respect other people ensure that uh, uh you do good to them But funny thing we were never told how to love ourselves we were never told how to take care of our mental health we were never told how we were never taught how to just put in yourself first yeah because one of one of one of, the, one of the things that really made me uh, trust people blindly was that uh, I didn't find who I was so I kept looking at myself through other people I don't know if that makes sense yeah like niliko na jitafuta kwa mtu mwingine so unapata hata una you get into a relationship and uh, I think you 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 pour you pour more of yourself thinking that you are trying to woo somebody but in return it's like unajiumiza tu people don't understand that kama ujielewi you can't bring somebody else into your life and expect that you will be normal 
Yeah. I think that makes sense. Any anyway, you see, d d d don't get into any relationship, be it friendship, be it intimate, if you, if, if you still don't know who you are. Because you will always be in tears. And by tears, I mean you'll always be crying, like, Mbona wasa na nifanya hivi, mbona wasa na nifanya hivi. But you can understand that um, it's, a, it's an evil world out here. Such things won't even shake you, kabisa. You know, not like, you'll meet crazy people. You'll meet people who pretend that they're close to you, kabisa, lafu wana, wana, like, they're only there to use you. Uh, like, so especially, like, for me, uh, uh, growing up, I think my, like, I usually say on my podcast, uh, me nili, me nili kuliko ejiangu, because immediately after high school, me nili rushua kufanya job kwa casino. So the kind of people I was meeting, they were older than me. Uh, like up me, like I was 19 at that time. I, I was 19. And unenda hapo unakutana na msea ko 30, msea ko 28, msea ko 24. You meet different people. So I think I came to have the mindset ya watu wakubwa in the, in the aspect ya especially business, employment, you know, mm -hmm. but when it came to now my own emotional state, my own mental state, it's something that I had to really master it through being Kuvunjoro, people using you, people just being close to you because you have uh, some uh, pesa kidogo. But, but personally, I don't I, I see regretting it because if Singe pitia all this pain and trauma because uh, no one was there to teach me growing up uh, in my family. I wouldn't be here where I am mentally and emotionally. Yeah. I think we need to really step up our game in the sense of pushing the narrative that you need to take care of yourself first before taking care of somebody else or before bringing somebody else into your life. Me, Kwanza, like, I think I'm an overgiver, if, if that makes sense, like I, like on a rondogo when it comes to helping, yeah. So sometimes, even when, uh, even when I was, when, even when I was dating people, I would go above and beyond. I usually have this crazy story where I, I was telling my friend back in campus, that's what, year one, before, before, before dropping out and whatnot, like there's this chick I was having, and uh, I used to save up the money my parents would send me for for lunch and supper and breakfast. Sometimes I would save, so I would only take one meal. Yeah, I would only take one meal so that on Friday I can take this chile out. <laughs> Sometimes I think about it. And I just laugh because I go, hey, But when I do at that time, Mimi, I was just like I was doing my part, like nil kona pendam say. So you you overdo what you're supposed to do. But in real sense, sometimes in this world, if you're too good, people will be too bad to you. Because you won't understand people are out here to use you. So I was saving up and whatnot. Kumbe this chile ya kona, kona mbude ya hapo. Oh, mina save do ati ni mpeleke ya utakule. But for her, ana, ana skumi wa 10k maali. So when, 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 when it all came to light, I was like, Ay, but see, I'm, I've been pouring myself out. I've been doing this, da, 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 da. Like, how, how, can, how can she do this? How can... But in real sense, nowadays I tend not to regret anything that happened in your time because i didn't know myself i was trying to be who i'm not through the eyes of that girl no no that, that that's not who i was you know if i if i totally knew myself emotionally and mentally maybe you get your upper you're overdoing because me won't be able to say like for example everybody you guys should learn how to take yourself jipelekeni date no no don't ever wait for somebody to come into your life so that you can take yourself to Masai Mara. 
to wait for somebody to come to your life ndio jipeleke try chinese food but the chinese food is very trash don't me na kumbuka the first time i went to to see a movie the first time i went to see a movie is is cause nilikuwa napeleka dem out <laughs> yeah but if if unajipenda th- these are some of the things that si lazima ungoje mtu kwa maisha yako just take yourself out man say sometimes if you're working from home you're an online guy and a java do, do some work up or like don't wait for somebody to come into your life to treat you to treat them instead of treating yourself first ukijozesha ku take care of yourself when somebody else comes into your life and you see some certain patterns utasema eh hapa hapa no i don't want this i don't want this da 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 you see so for me i believe that sour i went through a lot i went through a lot with people some people i met in my life who made me want to even kill myself yeah but if i could if i wouldn't have overcome that singe ko the person i am right now and one of the things that really helped me was i i tend to read a lot of books i read a lot of books currently this year i'll be on my 437th book the 437th book is titled uh, uh, the 100 dollar startup but anyways i read various types of books and uh, i'm not a person who reads novels i read books that help you shape your mind you get no no both emotionally and what not so those are some of the things that really really boosted me like cuz you, you you come across a uh, text uh, book that open your eyes so that and me being through cuz even when i was in even when i was feeling depressed or maybe even somebody was hurting me I, I, was still, i was still trying to read but i was not internalizing what i'm reading but nowadays i, I look back and i'm like hey all those things that i was reading they're shaping me all the things that i was reading they make sense There's this one book i would really recommend it's called the power of no that book really opened my mind because one 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 problem that i used to face was i had a problem of not saying no to people i had like because I, i think i was a people pleaser you know like I, i i'm afraid to disappoint somebody so even when i don't want to do something in return i'll just say yes to something or maybe a request to somebody yeah so that asiasika serike na mimi but you forget that whatever you're doing whatever you're doing that uh, t- you're afraid to say no in in turn it damages you because let's say for example you really don't want to do something and then you do it or maybe somebody requests you like eh hey, bana mimi nataka twende out to to to, to happy na no, utaki but since you, ta- you, do, you don't want to you don't want to disappoint your friends you kubali and then maybe something bad happens na no, ulata kufuta your inner inner gut gut feeling so one one really big one that book really shaped my life the power of no i really recommend it you should get you guys should go and see it that book told like the the the, the, the i think it's two writers it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a man and a, and a, it's a husband and wife yeah but one one of the main main uh, key points that i got from that book was it's okay to say no like literally ka utaki kufanya kitu utaki ule mwenye ana feel that uh, like maybe your friendship itakuwa itaachana nini ati juu mekata wacha ikae but you learning how to you learning how to say no actually helps you build self confidence kwa sababu you don't care what um, somebody would think about you and in this saying no like it's not that you're rude literally if you don't feel like doing anything if you see something bad happening in your relationship if you see something bad happening in your friendship like the more you learn how to say no to certain things in those relationships or in your own personal life also trust me it helps you build so much confidence yeah like ukitaka tu ku kama utaki kwenda out na una foresee you can say no that book really 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 shaped me so bad i think one 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 of the key lessons i got there was that uh, 
you can also de- differentiate you, uh, it doesn't mean if it's uh, you, like your 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 family that it be because you grew up in a family your your mom and dad relatives bros whatever that that it because they're your family you're afraid to say no to certain things because you you will disappoint them me nowadays to be honest i really don't care i really don't yeah if i if, whether whether you're my, my my sibling to me for family i i i do te- i do i do my best yes to to help where i can but you can't help everyone including your family we all uh, we all adults right so you can't pour in from an empty cup uh, for example i see uh, it's called it's called black currency whereby uh, because you're the you're the bre- you're the, you're the, you're the first born or maybe you, you, just because you are a child of, of somebody or you are a child of, of a relative you're a kuzo nini maybe somebody comes and then they borrow you money and then they assume because your cousins they won't return that money so for me i have a separation between my personal life and uh, relatives and what not and family I, i like literally there's a boundary you can't cross be it you be my be my cousin whether you are my brother whether you are my my parents like it helps you shape your emotional intelligence you understand that a hey, these people are just human beings that were like me they only have titles that are relatives that are family but it's something that you really need to differentiate kabisa you need to separate you need to put that boundary kabisa if if you feel that somebody is doing something wrong and because your brother don't be afraid to sh- to tell them no apo na apo just because you are fearing to disappoint them at because they are family da 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 no mm-hmm. because me, i know i know i know a lot of people who have when you are sana like they can't they they live in hand to mouth because because of their family I know a lot of people who have gone broke because of their family because of their relatives you know na msa yako msa yako shago na nakwambia ah huko Nairobi bana wewe nyinyi mnapata pesa ni but th- those guys don't know that una unakipitia huko but since you don't want to disappoint them even from that 50 shillings or 500 shillings that you have utawatumia wewe unabaki solo you guys build yourself first build your self fast that's what that, that's that's a key thing i would tell in you and even my own son my own my own daughter yeah cuz god me i i think if you if 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 th- there's so much freedom that comes when you're mentally free emotionally free like you know most people say most people don't encounter people who who Uh, tell them no straight to their face wamezoea kuambia tu yes 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 so the moment they find somebody who tells them hey no me don't want and like i don't feel like doing this onashtuka they call you rude but it's it's normal <laughs> like literally it's normal me is, like nowadays me cast day ki to and kuambia tu wewe ka unafikiri ni ni madharau that's upon you that's your own that's your own isn't mashida zako no no i don't like when 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 people assume that uh, you being emotionally intelligent is rudeness because at the same time you're just protecting who you are you're protecting your your boundaries yeah i see i see most people really really suffer because they can't say no totally they cannot say no to anyone you don't be a yes man don't be a yes woman make sure you 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 really need god quote to stubborn with who you are yeah just make sure make sure you're so positive with yourself unajiamini totally that nobody else nobody anaweza kukushake and it's a, like every every day is a learning is, is is a learning process like i've said kila siku you learn something new na mimi sema kila siku you need to make sure that you feed your mind with something positive 
you know most people don't understand most people read the bible like a book i personally have read the bible like three times and i've not read it like the way people in churches people in churches just tell you to receive but the people church in churches just tell you to to a pesa nini but they don't teach you what's in the bible so i don't read the bible like a christian christianity is just another that's a story for another time but literally the bible has so many lessons on how to protect your 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 your, your mental health protect your 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 being who you are especially with the words that you use in in domeco this is a really powerful thing yeah like uh, you can speak things into existence with your with your mouth yeah so make sure that you the, the internal voice that you hear yourself speak in your mind make sure that voice is always uttering positive things yeah they say that the an idol mind is a devil's workshop to me that when you to me how i break that down with the things that i've read and like various teachers who have taught me your mind is a an idol mind is a devil's workshop in the sense your mind should not be thinking you, you should not let your mind wander and think for itself you the soul as a person should be the one who's controlling how and when you are thinking not when necessarily but how you are thinking from the words that you utter from the vision that you have everything on personal i'm so big on affirmations yeah like there are certain there are certain words that you keep repeating in yourself that's why you see like most muslims even uh, catholics they have these beads now the more you meditate on a word every day, every day even if it's in the morning and evening now that is the aspect of an idol's man is a devil's workshop so the more you meditate on a positive word you your you, your mind won't be a devil's workshop so let's say for example you have an affirmation called like a, um like i am now writing in my subconscious mind the idea of god's wealth god is the source of my supply and all my needs are met at every moment of time and point of space god's wealth flows freely joyously and ceaselessly into my experience and i give thanks for god's riches forever circulating in my experience for me i usually say that prayer or affirmation every day i don't tend to make my mind idol like you you can silence your you can silence your mind through pray, that such prayers i call them scientific prayers you can silence your mind you can silence the outside world the the outside the outside world to your mind using such affirmations so these things help you totally to build your mind once you you read a book you make sure you do the affirmations every day it's it's, it's like a muscle you're building a muscle so the more you do the affirmations the more you have clear vision of what you want to do and you're working hard trust me you'll be able to manifest so many things in your life because even excuse me even when you are not trying to manifest your manifesting so like if you are trying to if you always beating yourself down if you think you're ugly you'll be ugly but if you, if you see yourself as a as a very strong human being you'll be a strong human being that's why some people have a very strong demeanor like the energy is so strong that when they walk into a room like you see somebody walking with a straight chest and what not those people really really have confidence in themselves they really believe in themselves in themselves me personally I really like Kanye West because you can't tell that man anything you can't tell him anything i, lo- I love the song where um, i love uh, the, this song here i love in the La 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 wait till I get my money right La 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 then you can't tell me nothing right <laughs> That is my intro anthem for my life kabisa I love and append the confidence of Kanye West but for him no matter what he's going through he believes in himself kabisa I talk with a cheesy 
people people will always do something people will always do something to make sure that um uh, that you feel less of a person but if you truly believe in yourself nobody can take you to the abyss that you once took yourself to love yourself take care of yourself peace out